Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and today I wanted to do another sort of educational, informational, but I guess more opinion-based video today because uh, I wanted to talk about the best UK that I've actually had this year, well, so far, because uh, I've tried a lot of new UK brands this year and uh, some of them have really, really like caught my eye and I've been like, wow, this is insane. So I wanted to make a more sort of like positive video today because recently in the last week, I've been talking about stuff that I don't like a lot in videos. So today we're talking about something that I like. But before we get into that, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, WD420. Yo, these guys have some amazing pieces over on their website and they're mad, mad cheap. And we even have a little discount with the uh, discount code Drew420 down there. So yeah, people definitely don't miss out on the crazy deals over on their site. It's actually insane insane i know you guys are gonna love them so uh yeah people remember supporting the sponsors really really does help support the channel i wouldn't be able to make these videos if it wasn't for sponsors so uh yeah thank you guys and uh yeah let's get into this because i have had some crazy crazy uk this year also it has just started raining like mad <laughs> hopefully the audio is still kind of all right so i think this year has been really really good for uk brands because i i, I mean i've seen a lot of uk brands over the last sort of like five six years and they've been good but this year it has been leveling up like so many new people have been coming onto the scene and then because these new people setting levels it's making the old people set even higher levels and then it's just all around making it a really nice positive space for the community where everyone is just trying to have super nice quality flower and i think the first brand that really caught my eye doing you know something just really special and you know changing the levels was probably tim man farms if you don't know who tim man farms are they have some crazy crazy genetics and some of their flower has been coming out looking absolutely insane, like proper Cali looking nugs. And when I say Cali looking nugs, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't matter where the thing's grown. When I say Cali, I mean like, you know, it looks like it's done in a nice professional legal environment. And it's actually really, really blow my mind. Like their stuff is 10, 10. I think I've probably tried like maybe I would say 15 different strains from them and i think i've only not liked like two of them i think the ones that stood out for me not liking them was like the knightsbridge oz i wasn't the biggest fan of and uh there was another one but i can't really remember it in my head this is how good the good ones have been that i can't even really remember the bad ones or why i didn't like them because the good ones have been absolutely crazy but I think I just need to mention my favorite thing that I've had from them, which has been the Prezi and the Carol Baskins. <laughs> what, a, what a name for some flower, Carol Baskins. <laughs> and the Prezi had like a design of like Donald Trump. It was really sick. The, uh, the actual flower quality was unbelievable. Like the type of quality that if I took a nug out and showed it to somebody and said like, oh yeah, this is some Cali, they'd be like, well, yeah, it is, you know? <laughs> Absolutely insane uh the prezi was tasting more sort of like i don't know cookies-esque uh i i could imagine it being in the cookies pack that was the way i would describe it i think at the time i compared it to uh the sticky buns by cookies if i'm remembering correctly and the carol baskins was slightly more of like a z turp but with that still gas in there it was really really nice so yeah that's tin man farms and my thoughts on them maybe we should do a tin man farms tier list because you know like i said i've tried like 15 different strains from them and uh i think a tier list video for them could be pretty good so let me know if you want to see that uh in the comments down below but i think the next people that we need to talk about is actually someone who i only tried their stuff really really recently and they actually went out of their way to make sure i could try some of their stuff which was really really nice but when i got it it was insane and i'm talking about beans to buds now i'm sure compared to like tin man's a lot of you guys probably don't know who these guys are because i definitely didn't before i tried their flower so these guys recently have had some gelato 33 cross skittles cake and this is actually an official jungle boys seed so it has been really really nice grown to perfection i think with the look side of things that they're quite early in what they're doing and it could end up looking a bit better but in the way that everything smoked and how it felt and the taste it was absolutely unbelievable and if that's what they're managing to do just with that i'm super super excited to see what they're going to do in the future like going on this year because I, I think it could be really crazy these guys again super super recent i only tried their bud like a couple weeks ago so it's straight in my mind 
I uh, wanted to mention them here. Beans to buds, really, really crazy. And the thing is as well, when I smoked that with people, like, you know, they would taste it. They'd have that flavor and they'd be like, yo, I can't even put my finger on what this tastes like. It's got so many flavors in my mouth and it tastes so nice. It was just, yeah, really, really amazing. So big up to beans to buds. But I think... We also need to talk about somebody who's been in the scene for a, a lot longer. And um, again, I didn't really manage to try any of their stuff until really, really recently. And I'm talking about Boom products. Now, I've seen Boom products in the scene for ages. I've seen slaps about for ages. And I just never really got the chance to get in contact with them or in general just try anything. I never saw it on any menus or nothing. But recently, I tried the Gushers and the Lemon Cherry Gelato. And these are both from Bag Seeds, both from Cali Bag Seeds. And oh my God, sometimes they just, you can't like tell the difference between it being UK and it being Cali. It's like, it's like really, really crazy. Like quality is unbelievable. There have been a couple times where the looks aren't quite up to that like Cali standard, but then even if the looks aren't up to that like mad, like, you know, legal medical standard or whatever, the flavor and the stone that you get from it is still well, well, like above and beyond anything else that I've really tried on that, you know, strain caliber. Oh my God, it has started raining <laughs> absolutely mad. Hopefully it sounds nice and soothing and calming after <laughs> the mic. But yeah, Boom Products, yeah, they're gushers. The Lemon Cherry Gelato, absolutely crazy. And the Lemon Cherry Gelato is from a Backpack Boys bag seed. And I, I, I shit you not, yeah, I could not like tell the difference in the flavor like it, it just tasted exactly the same as when i had the backpack boys one really really crazy so big up to boom products really really glad that i finally managed to try some of your stuff and i think i've got one more person that i'm gonna mention here now i, I have tried a lot of stuff this year i've tried a bunch of uk brands i know there's probably some people who are going to be sad that i haven't mentioned them in this video but this is just like a sort of precursor to a big video that i'm going to do at the end of the year which i think i'm going to call the drew is sharing awards because i'm basically going to do like a nice award show but it's going to be completely based on my opinions <laughs> and my experiences so if you're not mentioned in here you'll probably end up being mentioned in that you know big video at the end of the year if you, if you know that i like your stuff and you're like what well why am i not in this like uh, yeah <laughs> don't worry uh, i just wanted to you know make sure i mention the people who i've seen in like you know this year who i think would be making levels and i didn't really see them before this year you know if i if i had seen your stuff before this year um yeah that's probably why i'm not <laughs> putting you in here so look the next people that i wanted to talk about here is london city farms and you might actually remember these guys from back in the day when they used to be called elite flowers co and they kind of disappeared off the scene for a while and then recently came back as london city farms and wow their stuff is crazy they have so right is this for real <laughs> this rain is is actually mad all right i'm gonna pause this and and come back when it's not raining so hard okay the rain seems to have kind of stopped hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's all good for me to uh, continue this video but look london city farms yeah i can't even put into words the amount of effort that must go in to like making their flower because uh, they, uh, they have like the craziest quality control like policy i've ever seen i have never had a single nug from them with a leaf on it i've never even had a single nug from them with like an extra stalk on the side it's unreal that coupled with the genetics that they have got is it's crazy so like i think my favorite thing from them is the laog the laog is just absolutely fire that and the gmo because gmo you just don't see that in flour and correct me if i'm wrong here yeah but i'm pretty sure the reason gmo isn't sold in like flour form in like a lot of places is because it yields pretty bad and uh, a lot of people just use it for extracts because they can put like a premium on it so it's really nice to see some actual gmo flour and the fact that it's done by these guys is just like the, the best thing you could ever ask for. So look, people, this has been my sort of thoughts on the best UK that I've had this year so far. I've definitely missed out a couple people that I could have put in here. I'm super sorry for that if I have. I, I'm hoping that, you know, all the people that I know in my life and uh, everyone that I get nice bits from will be in the uh, big video at the end of the year, the uh, Jewish Sharing Awards. But uh, people, let me know in the comments down below what the best UK you've had 
this year has been because I want to know. I want to see if I can find any of it as well. Um, yeah, people, I will be reading every single comment. So yeah, let me know about that down there, people. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button just down here because my videos do not show on home pages for a lot of people. So make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And also, if you want to support on Patreon, that would be pretty sick. It really does help the channel out. And uh, you can get your name at the end of the video here if you're on the full pound tier and above. If you're on just the normal two pound tier, you get access to all the videos that get restricted on YouTube. Uh, so people, thank you very much for being here. I'll see you on a live stream later on today at 9 p.m. Have a good one. Peace.